Hello my friends, it's Bruns here, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you the 10 biggest mistakes that victims are doing in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So mistake number one is hiding and not doing anything. So some players who are just coming into the game, they're literally just hiding and they're not doing anything, they're really scared. I know the game is oppressive, it is supposed to be oppressive, you're supposed to feel weak and vulnerable and there is quite of a learning curve. So I don't blame you guys, but just try and get a little bit out of your comfort zone and go around and try and find out where things are and try to unlock doors try to stick to your teammates try to run away from the killers just try and do something because if you because if you just sit still most likely you're gonna be last man standing and then you're probably gonna die also remember, you only get XP by actions you do in game. So go and fix stuff, go and unlock doors, go and do sneak attacks, go and do something. Mistake number two is not leaving basement fully loaded. So you've got two slots in your inventory and by the time you're leaving basement, you want to have those two slots filled. So whenever you use and unlock two in one of the basement gates, of course you lose that tool. So go back and get another one or get a bone shard to increase your chances of survival. Mistake number three is not getting value out of your perks. So look at the perks you are equipping and then just make sure that you're getting the value out of them. So the basic perks that you start with, such as knock knock or tool tracks, they're really good so you can see where things are when the game first starts. But on level one, these perks will only proc for about 30 seconds. So make sure you're looking around very quickly at the beginning of the game so you know where to go. Mistake number four is not being stealthy when necessary. So by being stealthy, I mean not making noise. If you are in a chase or if you know there's family members looking for you, don't start making noise by looking for tools or trying to get bone scraps. Just try to take your time and if you think they're closing in on you, cancel, move away, hide and then go back and pick it up once it's clear. Just try to be stealthy when you need, when there's family members around. Don't give away your position. Mistake number five, and I see this all the time, is moving when grandpa screams. Now there's a big prompt on the screen just before he's about to scream. Stop moving when you see the prompt. Just stop moving. Also what can happen is you are in a chase and you just go through a crawl space and Booba is on the other side of the crawl space and then grandpa is about to scream. Booba can't reach you so stand still because what you don't want to do is show yourself to the other family members because then all three will know where you are. If you stand still whilst Booba can't get to you that way only he knows where you are and once grandpa stops screaming then you can move and you can run away. Obviously if Booba is already making his way around and is about to get you then move. Mistake number six is not respecting when using a new character. So it's all nice and well that you have your one or two characters level 10 but then you want to start playing with another character. Just take the points out of your previous characters even if it's going to spoil your loadout and you're not quite sure what you had before. Maybe just take a screenshot and then you remember that way. But take all the points from that character, put on the new character and then at least you can get loads of attribute points to put into your loadout and that can be a real game changer. That's what I do with Sonny. I get Sonny, he's got very bad stealth and I just dump 20 points of stealth on him and that gets him up to 35 stealth and that means I can really run around the map. Also remember, you don't lose the perk levels when you respect. So if you hit level three with some perks, if you respect, whenever you go back to those perks, they're still gonna be level three. So it's all good. Mistake number seven is just walking when there's no family members around. So sprinting doesn't make noise. Dashing doesn't make noise. If you know they're not around and if you know you're not gonna need your stamina, just run, sprint, be quick about it. Of course, you want to avoid the bone charms and yes, you might run into a family member, but if you're using Sony or if you have any kind of information that you know where the family members are, or maybe perhaps you're playing with someone and they say all three are on me, just run, just dash for it. Use your sprint and get to where you need to get as fast as possible. Mistake number eight is jump in the window to try and escape a chase but the exits are not open. Jumping the window is gonna deal massive damage and if you're already low on health you're gonna start recovering which is going to give more than enough time for the family members to go outside and finish you off. So don't jump the window unless you know it is completely clear to reach an exit. Mistake number nine is rushing and not looking around before moving. So especially when you are outdoors and you don't know where the family members are it's always good to just stop 
hide, look around first, and then you dash or make a move for it. Mistake number 10 is just holding the button on the minigame. Tapping on minigame is way faster than just holding the button, but it obviously affects your stealth more. So what you need to learn is how much you can tap with your character before you start making some noise. It might take a bit of practice, but very soon you're gonna be mastering it. And that's about it for the video today. If you're new, subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.